I wrote very well in high school, mm -hmm. then stopped. So, so removed None from None of you guys are going to do that. You're going to keep going, right? Well, you're right. And then years later, I thought, uh, I can't because it has to be really, really good as soon as I put it on paper. Duh. Well, no. What he taught me was put it on paper, throw it on paper, let it be horrible. Then look at it and go, okay, why doesn't this work? And then start to carve. Mm -hmm. So we, oh, oh my gosh, we worked on it for nine months. Wow. And really got something I'm proud of. Uh, so then but someone said, well, you could probably make some pin money at this. You could go around. I started taking it all around the country. I mean, like, all around the country and earning a living from it. Mm. And then, three years ago, some producers approached us and said, we'd like to take it off Broadway. And I thought, oh, how thrilling, how flattering. Mm -hmm. uh, and we started to talk, and it was really exciting. Mm -hmm. And then we got to the deal. Yeah. They yeah. wanted to just take it and uh, give, uh, pay me this each yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. But they wanted me to do it twice a week for eight months, at which time, after 64 performances, they'd own the subsidiary rights. And I could only work through them. Oh my God. And I thought, I said, 200 a week, I can't live on 200 yeah. a week. Yeah. And they went, well, we're all in this together, and no one makes money in New York, and all this baloney. Oh God. So, and I, and I remember just shaking, thinking, I'm giving my baby away. I'm giving it away after 10 years of uh -huh. working with it. So we said no. But they were putting 50000 on the table, and I thought, where am I going to get $50,000? So we aligned ourselves with a company, um, Amas Music uh, Theater, even though uh -huh. it wasn't a musical. They had worked with Eric, and they liked him. Uh -huh. And they're a 501c3. I didn't uh -huh. know anything about this. A 501c3 is a not-for-profit. And therefore, people can, if they make donations, they, I mean, mm -hmm. they give money, it's a donation. It's right. tax deductible. Right. Because I didn't want investors. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to feel bad about them or yeah. anything. But so rich people can write out a check. Uh -huh. And uh, this lady wrote out a $10,000 check to Eric and said, I really believe in you. Go do this thing now. And, I was going, and then I got really nervous because I thought, We're, the train is rolling. We have to raise another 40 And, you know, I got a friend to give me $25. Someone gave me 75 Someone gave me 1000 Uh We crawled up to thirteen five. Uh-huh. Then there was someone I went to college with, never knew her. I went to Smith, never knew her while I was in college. I met her at a reunion uh -huh. five years ago, and we really hit it off. And she loves theater, and she said, and she lives in Menlo Park, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Silicon Valley. And I thought, ding, 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 ding. So I called her and I said, we're doing this thing, we're 501c3. And she said, if you just said you needed money, I would have said, Shh, good luck. But she said, if you're working with a nonprofit, I have a foundation. And I give money every year to, uh -huh. the, uh, to the arts, to education, and to housing, I guess. So she said, yeah, make it 10. Uh -huh. And so I'm, now we're crawling up. And then later she said, yeah, make it 15. You're working so hard. <laughs> I, and I, I, we got up to 40. And I thought, OK, 40, OK, OK. And there was someone else I had gone to school with years ago. Uh, and I thought, I, I think she does have a foundation. So I looked, I Googled it, found the mm -hmm. foundation, said, if I write you a letter, can you get this to her? And they said, we don't have her home address. And I thought, you're lying. But <laughs> I didn't say anything. Uh, I wrote the letter. One week later, I'm in my living room, and I open up uh, my mail, and $10,000 falls out wow. from Meryl Streep because wow. I happened to go to school with her. And, and the point of that for me is this, that you're making your connections now. It's not when you're 35 or 40, you know, it's now. And if you're a jerk now, people are going to remember that. Because we had only gone to school for three months together at Dartmouth. That's it. But, you know, we remembered and we believed in one another. And I saw her recently and she said, I know what it is to build something from the bottom up. Yeah. You know, right. people will always honor that. So I was saying earlier today when I was teaching that you are a one person operation. It's up to you to invent paths for yourself. You know, you can't wait for someone to choose you, make it happen, do it. They're not going to. They, they're just too busy or otherwise occupied. And you have to see the window of opportunity and create it. Just create it. This, <laughs> as a mm -hmm. guest artist, I taught this one place in, in um, Western Connecticut. Mm -hmm. And this, I was sitting at lunch with them, and this one teacher said, well, how lovely that you're here. How did you find us? Uh, how did uh, Susan hire you? And Susan, Susan was eating. She said, she wouldn't leave me alone. <laughs> and that's it. I had written to her several years in a row, 
and said, hi, I'm going to be in the area. Hi, I'm going to be in the area. And finally she said yes. And that's indeed how we got Elaine here because uh, she didn't have to make me leave her alone. She, she wrote, and having lived some of that life, I went, oh, I'm going to employ her. Yeah. Let's do the lights, shall we? Uh, yes, let's do the okay. lights. Okay. If I'm here, it's a different plane of focus. If I'm here, unless it's a, a, you know, a wide shot, I'm not even in the world. So you can't just go walking all over the place. You have to be on a mark. Uh, but you can find your way there without looking down by just counting off. Uh, huh. Uh, that's fine. Yeah. So just count off. And it, to me, work on camera is the same as work on stage, only it's a different focus. It's, a, you're, it's like you have the whole wind-up and then you bunt. You're throwing it to a closer target. That's the only difference. So it means I don't have to project, hello everyone. It's just, hello, hello. It's more intimate. So all you have to do is think the thought when you're on camera. Just think the thought. You don't have to do your face. And you also don't have to withhold. Sometimes people don't like the, their eyebrows or their upper lip or some crazy thing. And they'll, you can tell that they're, uh, they're tight because they're thinking, don't get this, don't get this. Forget that. You, you have to keep sending the energy, but you're sending it closer. So can I have a couple, uh, like four, five, uh, one, two, uh, a, a department store. And you need to go to the information booth. And you ask the person at the information booth, and just say, where can I find the umbrellas? And I'll say, up the stairs to the left. And you say, thank you. And everyone stay with those words. Just, where can I find the umbrellas? Up the stairs to the left, thank you. And then uh, walk off. So that's informing the way you ask. OK, good. One more time, Slate, please. Connor or Ludwig? Nice. That's your handshake. Good. Good. And now the thing again. Did I just do it? Yeah, yeah. Um, do, do you know where the umbrellas are? The stairs to the left. Thank you. And Slate, please. Haley Heminger Martin. Where are the umbrellas, please? Up the stairs to the left. Thank you. Where can I find the umbrellas, please? Up the stairs to the left. Thank you. You're uh, leaving in character, and you're leaving to go somewhere. You know, it's not over. Yeah. Where can I find the umbrellas, please? Up the stairs to the left. Thank you. <laughs> Ryan Guild. Where can I find the umbrellas? Up the stairs to the left. Uh, thank you. Uh, where can I find the umbrellas? Up the stairs to the left. Thank you. Slow it way down and put it out on a platter. Ryan Gill. Da 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 da. Ryan Gill. Yes, you hear the difference? Totally different. It's like, is it my name? You tell me. But this time it's like, this is who I am. Good, good, excellent. All right. Luke Bosco. Where can I find the umbrellas, please? Up the stairs to the left. Thank you. <laughs> Interesting. Luke Bosco. And yeah, have a little bit more fun with it. Luke Bosco. Nice. Good, good, good. Raphael Cotton. Where can I find the umbrellas, please? Up the stairs to the left. Thanks. Good, good. Raphael Cotton. Where can I find the uh, umbrellas, please? Up the stairs and to the left. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to slate, and then I'm going to say uh, my whatever I say. Three different. And when I say three different ways, it's not doing. It's not like. I love potatoes. I love potatoes. I love potatoes. No, you have to have a different intention. Okay, good. We'll start here. Slate, please. Ryan Wall. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Good. And one leaning into camera a little bit like, what? It's a fun thing saying the same words. You've got to be kidding me. Yeah, good, good. good. <laughs> <laughs> and, and even without your hand, just uh, you. You've got to be kidding me. Good, 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 good. All right, next person. And slate, please. Maya Martin Gonzalez. I never knew that. I never knew that! <laughs> I never knew that. Good. And one is a secret, like, oh, wow. 
I never knew that. And now a fun secret. I never knew that. Fun <laughs> secret. Fun secret. 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 <gasps> secret. I never knew that. Good, good, good. All right, next person. And Slate, please. Samantha Lehan. My dog is my best buddy. My dog is my best buddy. My dog is my best buddy. And I'm like, he's so cute. How could it not be? My dog is my best buddy. Yeah, and, and, and you would love him too. My dog is my best buddy. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Next person. And Slate, please. Sophie Flynn. Let me think about that. Let me think about that. Let me. Let me think about that. Good. And now, exhale. And go. La 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 Adorable. Adorable. Oh, thank you. Oh. All right. Good. 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 All right. Now, uh, Elaine Branca. And uh, as if I'm at a party and I go to drink from a glass, don't actually put it to your mouth because God knows where it's been. Uh, 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 and it's filthy. And I just share that with my friend who is the camera. So completely non-verbally, right? It just... <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. That's the whole thing. Slate, please. Calvin Hill. Good. <laughs> Calvin Hill. Slate, please. Luke Bosco. <laughs> Luke Bosco. Luke Bosco. Madeline Grattan. Slate, please. Nick Sylvester. 